Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I got my package from Nasty Bath. I'm sorry if I sound a little hoarse and a little tired. I came from a 1.30 to supposedly 6 that I got extended to 9 p.m. shift because three people called out. One of them I can excuse because they are a teacher. They have told my manager, told our manager, excuse me, look, I can't work as much like I did over the summer. I have to go back to teaching. I can work as the days available. That's his fault for not listening. So anyway, the package, this fit into my mailbox. If you ever live in an apartment or anything like that, you had those little rectangular ones as a bitch, and you bitch to fit into, and you don't have to oh, put, put it in the landlord's room option type of thing. Yeah. So thankfully, it came. So I'm going to start first with the freebie. I got... I have received Insomniac. There we go. The greens are listed. I'm glad it said it was to shake it. I sprayed about five or six times. It smells nice, but it doesn't linger as much. In that nice little lingering, and then whoosh, it's gone. Um, the bath bombs. I was first concerned. Okay, this is what's my highest paying one, and this was five dollars. I was like, what the fuck? Because I thought. It was broken or missing or anything. It turns out they, the owner, start doing this to all those bath bombs after a certain while because they were, I think, used to be full size. But then it's this. I'm not going to complain. Company is their company. Do what they do. But it would be nice if they listed the um, ounces. Um, I guess I have four, so I'm going to start with the two Harry Potter ones. There's a set, you can get four in the set for 15 or three individually. I've chosen the houses I would have gotten into. My num the number one choice is Slytherin. And no joke, my friends seriously thought I was going I can be a Slytherin. I even have the shirt. So here this is. On this, it has all the ingredients here, but it's missing um, and what stone, according to the site. This, this is an interesting smell. I'm going to admit this up front. I did not think leather can smell this good. Like they blend nicely. The second house is Ravenclaw. This is the first one I opened. Let's see what Claw was. Okay. Opened and oh my god, I can smell the coffee. I can smell the fucking coffee and the cake. So now I think I want to get the whole set because I'm curious what does Gryffindor and Hufflepuff smell like. You know... Sandalwood is iffy with me. So I'm going to try these out. And then if I like them, I'm going to get the whole set. I think I should have gotten the whole set, but I'll wait. The next one I've gotten is Bite Harder. Which, it smells like a cookie. <laughs> it seriously smells like a cookie. It's a nice little grayish, reddish little mixture. It smells like a cookie. It seriously does. It smells like a fucking cookie to me. So apparently this has, because I'm reading from the website as well, unless the ingredients change or anything, this was supposed to have lotus. It has vanilla and pomegranate in it. But uh, it's supposed to have lotus in it. But it smells like a cookie though. My last one here is Dexter, which is awesome white with some blood. On it, and this is a sweet orange. Oh, uh, and this is the good smelling orange, not the tacky one. Okay, I sorry I keep repeating about scents, but certain scents, when they are made cheaply or the certain materials with it, it can smell really tacky and disgusting to me. I can't be near it. So how the packaging was set up was they were wrapped in these like candy. Hence the sticker. Um. Sticker like holding the um, ends in place. Cause I could, you can I could not smell it through this at all. Couldn't. I had to open them, which is awesome. It's like you have to open like a piece of candy to get the good stuff. So that's what's awesome. Uh, let's see, cause I see that was three, three. That was this was five. Cause I think this is a set amount because the lotion. And the set, I believe, is I think the lotion's five. The lotion's tw the whip is twelve, 
And the set's probably, yeah, the set's 14. So I can understand, like, themed items prices. But this was two fifty. Um, oh, let me move that out of the way. Oh, you're not supposed to be in there. Then I have, I'm going to see how where I, how much this was because this was nice to have that tossed in there. Um, I guess like thus far I'm pleased with everything how it looks because they came in good condition. Maybe a little crumbly underneath, but that's expected, especially if it's been in transit. Um, I'm going to put the link uh, underneath in the box below. Now, if you notice, like, with some of my videos, I don't link every time. If I, if it's a company, company, Whew. sleep. If it's a company that I've brought stuff before, I stop linking. If y'all like me to link again, please let me know. But I do put the name, names in the title. So please feel free. It's like, hey, I need you to, can you give, give the link or ask if, Ask for a price range name. I'm not going to ask for them. Just ask me. Like my whole day was like. Uh, <clears throat> Let me see if I can find how much the spray is. Um, hmm. Here I got the mist. Okay, now the mist. Um, is nine dollars, and it doesn't tell you how many ounces. Yes, yeah, nine dollars, but it doesn't tell you how many ounces. Um. That's I think the one drawback I have with the website. It's nice, everything's everything smells good. Waiting to um, demo it when I get a chance. But it'd be nice if you if the ounces was mentioned. Because I'm in a group like it'll be nice if I know the ounces. At least I'm aware of that if it's going to be what the size is and things like that. How much I'm getting. Um the, it took a couple of weeks because I, I ordered this. Let me see when I ordered this. I'm trying to think. Did I order it last month? I think it was last month. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, I ordered it. Oh, actually, no. I ordered it August 9th. And it just got shipped Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. It was a hold on Thursday. It was shipped Thursday, and I no ship Wednesday. It was shipped Wednesday, and came on time. I expected it to be here Friday, but eh. so it took about three weeks. Well, two weeks. Well, three ish. It took two weeks, excuse me, two weeks and a few days to be shipped. That's not bad. I think that's typical timing. And, yeah, I'm quite thrilled with this. Um, sorry if I'm moving around a lot. Um, I have to do two more packages in the mail. One, the Mad Bombers sent my um, both my items out, so I should have that by Monday, hopefully. Um, and then there's the Witch Baby Soap, uh, Winter Spellbox. Is it Winter? No, Autumn, Autumn, Autumn. Winter, they just put up, so you can order right now. Or if you're a subscriber, if Automatically did it for you. Um, important key for that is make sure your address is correct, and make sure your payment's correct. So if you either, either or both, uh, got changed, let them know. Um, so I'm waiting for that. I'm um, hopefully I'll get an email. Hopefully by Monday or Tuesday. They said by Tuesday at the latest, everyone will have an email. So, please, because <laughs> I saw the email for the winter box. Like oh oh oh, the winter box. Okay. Um. So there's that. So I'll just explain my day. Uh, I went to work. It's supposed to be now at six. Guy has to stay till nine. Usually, when you're closing, you stay till nine thirty. But, um, like I mentioned before, I'm part time, so I can't go over three hours a week. And then one week I have to skip, because then I'll have to get full time benefits and stuff like that, which would actually be a little nicer. So, my manager's already aware I did about twenty seven, because 
I was asked to come in this past Sunday and I was off. So I got three more hours, was able to leave on time, but he didn't know the password for the computer to log in. I think none of the managers did. It's been a while. So we had to write it down. So I wrote down, wrote my lunch down, stayed till nine. I had to tell people I had to leave at nine because there's three people, like people left early and there's three people closing. So they didn't really need a fourth person. So like, it's a decent check, but like once I get paid, either I'm paying for something else, I'm buying something else, things like that. Once Christmas comes, it gets a little better. Uh, so I'm telling stress, my voice is out because I had to also ring. I'm mainly a cashier, but sometimes I'm on the floor, I'm multitasking. Like I've been there for through about four years this November and at Arsha Craft Stores store that rhymes with cycles and it's been okay but I want more improvement I need a better option so second job hunting so that way I can be able to go to school yeah but I also got told by my mom I need to stop by my ma I need to stop buying bath, uh, bath bombs and stuff because she had a problem with my lipstick issue I haven't brought lipstick yet because I'm very picky with colors and I'm waiting for some colors to come out. Or they're already out. Um, I buy comics, things like that. So sometimes it's nice for me to have my own money to spend for myself. And people, and not the assumption that, oh, every time I get paid, my check has to go to an entire household. There's other people that live here or pretend to live here and sleep here constantly that can, um, pay so I have to easily tell my mom you need to ease off a little bit I don't mind contributing but don't expect me to give my whole check up if I gotta pay for my credit card and things like that that's not happening but yeah um I'm gonna put a link back to the topic I'm gonna put a link for this underneath so that way y'all can just view it see it I'm also put their Instagram I keep thinking it's a she but I could be wrong like I've been, this this is the second, well, third day that I made my day the past few days. I found out about a band called, a Swedish band called Ghost. Uh, I like Papa number three. <laughs> I love his voice and he has a nice body type I prefer on a guy. <laughs> um, I also found a ABBA song they covered that is sinister. ABBA can be sinister? I'm about to be 29 next month. Only song I like from Alba or Abba, I, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry, is Money, 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 Money. And I found out through that song because when I played War of Warcraft, I don't play it now as much, you know, financial issues um, and plus time restraints. I, um, someone did a Goblin video when the Goblins came out, which, made, which was awesome, and included that song. I like that song. And now I like I'm a marionette. marionette. I like both versions. I'm like, this shit's sinister. I'm not sinister. But a few people mentioned their last last couple of albums was very dark. I'm like, I can deal with this. But yeah, I can, I'm going to... I'm going to um, stop this right now. Because that's about my day. Oh, the other thing is I found out goes in Avenged Sevenfold is performing on my birthday at a festival in Chester, PA. So it saved me from seeing goes in Pittsburgh and asking my friend Pittsburgh, can I stay over? But I was hoping they'll have a Philly date, but I want to see them hey, as soon as possible because, ugh. And I haven't seen, I think this will be my first time seeing Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, this will be my first time. Well, I'm going to end this because I'm almost near 15. Everyone have a good night and I'll probably Making another video of demoing. I might demo one of my other stuff. Not these. Alright. Bye.